Hey y'all, it's Maddie from the Itty Bitty Homestead Committee. We are going over all of our breeding plans for our rabbits in the next year before we go to the 2023 convention. And today we are going to be talking about my mini Rex. So let's hop into it. So before we get into what I wanna improve in my lines this year, I just wanna quickly go over the standard of perfection when it comes to our mini Rex. This is Strawberry, he is the sire of our barn, and he is basically the standard of perfection in a bit too large of a package. So what we're looking for in a mini Rex is a rabbit that is basically a ball with a head. We want the high point over the hip and a nice roundness from shoulders all the way down to the bottom of the tail there. So we want all of our rabbits to look like strawberry. We just want them to be about a pound to a pound and a half smaller to strawberry so that they fit well within the standard of perfection, just because most of the time he is about half a pound over. In this case, I'm pretty sure strawberry is a false dwarf, meaning that he has the size of the dwarf, but he doesn't necessarily carry the dwarf gene, which is perfect for our breeding program because we could breed him to true dwarfs and have fewer peanuts. And to show you some improvement of our lines from last year to this year, this is Penguin. She is one of our breeding does. As you can see, she has a pretty decent body, but she has a very long shoulder. With that being said, she produces some absolutely beautiful babies, but I already have a replacement in the lineup for her that is already better. Replacing Penguin in our Broken Black Lines is going to be this little doe. Her name is Blueberry. Already, if you get her posed up and you start looking at her, you already see we have an improvement on the shoulder. And if you look, we also have a really great improvement on fur type as well. So here in the next month or so, we are going to be taking Blueberry and breeding her to Strawberry to get better Broken Black Lines that we're hoping to take to convention. With that being said, this is what a year's worth of intensive breeding can do in a program where you focus solely on one thing you really want to improve. With that being said, Blueberry is a bit overposed here, and when she is correctly posed, she is still a bit longer than what I want in my shoulders. So we're going to continue breeding her back to Strawberry to kind of improve that a little bit. Because again, I love where we are with the fur type. I just really, really want to improve that shoulder up to the next level. And I love how petite this little doe is um, compared to her mother penguin at this age. She is about a pound difference in size. Next, we have this bit of an honorable mention. This is my Vienna marked Harlequin Daisy. We're going to be using her in our breeding program to enhance the quality of our booze. Um, if you compare this Vienna marked baby compared to our previous booze, huge improvement on fur type and then as on type in general as well with that being said i completely understand that this doe is nowhere near show quality and even breeding her back to a boo and another vienna marked i don't think i'm going to have a good enough boo to take to convention this year coming up i may be surprised in the next couple of months as we start breeding daisy with that being said i do want to get some boos on the show table at our local shows so this is daisy really loving the type improvement in our boo and vienna marked program as you can see she's still a bit longer than i would like in the shoulder but not too bad of a high point point. and i absolutely think this doe is absolutely just the sweetest thing in the barn right now so really excited to see if we can get some nice boos out of her that have her personality Moving on to this line right here, and you'll have to excuse how multi she is. Um, we have a lot of rabbits losing fur and they look absolutely ridiculous, but this is Sadie. Um, I've been trying to use Sadie to improve our booze because of how small, compact, and petite she is. Um, and she is a Vienna carrier. With that being said, um, I haven't really gotten a doe out of her that is a blue-eyed white. I got a beautiful little boo buck out of her a couple months back. So I'll be rebreeding her to our Vienna marked buck to see if we can get another boo out of her. With that being said, I don't necessarily have a replacement for her yet, but in case something does happen to her before we get a decent animal out of her, I do have a backup. We have been calling this little doe Sadie Jr. With that being said, she is still quite young, quite a baby. 
but out of all of the litters she has one of the better types and she has a more correct fur coloring um her rings are more defined and she just does better in that aspect so i'm hoping as she grows out here she fills in a little nicer on that shoulder because her shoulder is a bit shorter than her mother's with that being said i don't like her high point as well as her mother's so it's kind of a back and forth game of what i want to bring into the breeding program i'm gonna let her grow out a little bit here and and in case something happens to her mother, we do have a backup that could easily replace her. And again, I really do like Sadie's kits. They always stay petite and they're super sweet. Next, we have Solstice. I've been using her in our dilute program to kind of help improve type because she carries blue, chocolate, and lilac. And she's actually produced quite a few um, does and bucks that have won um, Grand Champion, Champion, and Best of Breed at some local fairs. So I'm going to keep her back. I really like what she produces. Um, this last litter really took a toll on her, so we're going to be taking a break with her until she breeds to Gigi. But her last uh, breeding with her father, Coco, produced this gorgeous, gorgeous girl. If y'all don't know this baby, this is Lulu. Lulu is a lynx, and I'm going to be using her to produce more lynx to take to convention this year because lynx is on the table of being removed from the ARBA for colors for mini Rex. So I'm gonna try to get a few to convention this year that are a nice show quality. I absolutely love Lulu. I think she is just absolutely gorgeous. Um, her weight is really nice. She's about three and a half pounds, and she will be at breeding age next month. So I cannot wait to breed her and get some more little lynx does out of her because she is just, ugh, I love this doe. Um, one again, work on the shoulder and a little bit more on fur quality. Her fur is not horrible, but it can still use a bit more of an oomph to be closer to strawberries. But overall, I'm really impressed with this little doe and how she's been doing she has just been filling out marvelously. Yeah, that kind of gives you an idea of what a year of intensive breeding and working forward towards a goal gets you in your mini racks. Um, we have been super specific in our culling to improve those shoulders and really working on improving our fur type in general. So we went from Penguin, Solstice, and Sadie to this next generation that is just absolutely spectacular. So we went last year doing really well, just getting best of varieties and best of groups. To now we're moving forward to getting best of breeds and best opposites. So I wanna take it to that next step up to where we're getting more best of shows. Um, we've been doing pretty well with strawberry, but I want more stock to where every single time I put an animal on the table, we are consistently getting best of shows and not just once in a while. So again, I'm really focusing on short shoulders this year. That is the biggest goal is short shoulders. Um, if I can get those shoulders shortened up, we should have a really nice time at convention this year. And even if you look at blueberry compared to strawberry, we are just right there on the cusp. And every litter is getting harder and harder to choose new animals to replace our old animals. So I'm getting into a litter, if I have 10 babies, eight are show quality. So we're really just pushing it forward when it comes to this next generation of show animals. And the thing is, is it's not like I'm slowing down our, in our production. I have a litter right here. We're having new litters of Vinny Rex about once every two to three weeks. So we just have so many wonderful looking babies that are just getting better and better with each generation. This little tricolor I'm super excited about and then this little spot pattern baby. Oh, I'm so excited and we're getting up into the 4-H time frame where I'll have my 4-H kids start to reach out and looking for their next breeders and show stock so I am so super excited for this year of mini Rex. Um, a little worried about my blue eyed white program just because I'm not seeing the jumps that I'm seeing with my other programs but that's kind of to be determined considering that most blue eyed whites are very rangy they have some poor fur quality so we're getting better and I have to just keep on the grind of doing better for my blue eyed white program but anyway that's all I have for you thank y'all so very much for watching I would love to hear what y'all think of our stock and how our uh, improvements have gone from last year to this year because like I'm super proud of it 
And we will, next time, we'll be talking about some animals that we're not taking to convention, but we're still working on to further our show lines to include our Rex, our Champagnes, and our Californians coming up in the next couple of videos. So again, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.